Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope all of you will be fine and safe from the coronavirus it's your English class and today we discuss unit number 3 and answer and 5 today our learning objectives are to improve reading and comprehension skill to enhance vocabulary today students we discuss the reading page number 27 you all of you open your books and your home task in front of you and listen the lecture very carefully in the previous lecture students we already discussed about briefly introduction of anansi and which character in anansi's neighbor of which lived whose name was five she was an angry and unpleasant witch who became furious whenever anyone said her name because she hated her name the witch was drawing up some big magic in her garden. Okay, now students, we let's start our today reading. She was stirring her go uh, her big cooking pot and muttering and mumbling a spell. Uh, students, muttering and mumbling have the same meaning like talking in low voice or whispering. A spell spell mean magic. The smoke and sparks were blue and green, so Anansi knew she was cooking up some big magic. Suddenly, she snatched up, snatched up means carry away, her staff and started to pound it on the ground and she walked around the pot. Anansi listened carefully to what she said, I curse anyone who says the word five to disappear forever. In this paragraph, the witch was stirring her big cooking pot and whispering a spell which Anansi can't listen clearly. But Anansi thought she was cooking up some big magic. Suddenly, the witch walked around the pot and said, I curse anyone who say the word five to disappear forever. Now come to the next paragraph. Anansi rubbed his hands together and jumped around on his eight hairy legs. How many legs, Anansi? Eight hairy legs. Ah, oh, this could make me some money to get some food on the table for my family. He smiled widely and his sharp teeth sparkled. Anansi rushed to the path that ran along the river bank between the village and the marketplace. Soon everyone who was going to market would walk past. They would be on their way to buy the delicious jams. Jams mean I tell you the Urdu meaning. Jams Shekhar Gandhi ko kehte hain students beads. Chikandar ko kehte hain, pulses you know very well, dale and the grain anash that would be piled high in the market. Anansi set to work and piled up. Uh, piled up mean heap or mountain. Five mounts. Piled up mean make and mounts mean mountain or heap. Of earth near the path, they looked like they looked just like he had planted five yams then he sat down and waited now listen carefully i explain anansi was too much greedy and want to eat something without doing difficult work that's why he was looking happy and snatched and smiled widely anansi sat down near the river bank between village and marketplace because he wants to fool anyone through his magic through this magic the witch was growing in the garden and got eatable things and money that's why anansi piled five mounds and waited for prey now come to the next page here are the words synonym with sentences the first word is scaring Moving hurriedly with short, uh, with quick short steps, the hands were skewering due to storm. Smoke emit a cloud of fine particle. I uh, there is smoke everywhere. Flash, spark. The flash, the 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 flash in the dark. Here is a, 
is not mentioned by mistake is typing the flash is in the dark students you correct the sentence the flash is in the dark now here is a question number one try to make your own sentences of the following words if you want okay now it's time to your homework describe the following picture students uh, you describe this picture at here it's your home task you make at least at least six or seven sentences about this picture okay this is our today lecture i hope all of you uh, enjoyed well allah hafiz